This video is going to explain the inverse square law for light, made simple. Uh, inverse square law says that as distance doubles, actually let me see if I can hold this better here, as distance doubles from a light source, the area increases by a factor of four, so the area becomes four times larger than it was, and because the light energy is going to stay the same, the energy intensity is reduced by 75%, or another way of thinking about it is that it's reduced by um, reduced down to one quarter. It's the same thing, it just depends on how you look at it. So uh, let's do an example. Let's say you're in your bathroom and you turn off the light and you have a little flashlight with you and you stand 30 centimeters away from the wall. 30 centimeters from the wall. And turn your flashlight on. You're going to get this little beam of light here. So you're in the dark all by yourself and you see this little beam of light on the wall. Well, how bright is that circle of light on the wall? Well, for the sake of our example, let's use a, a bogus unit of measure called the penny. So let's say this penny represents a unit of light energy. Well, how many pennies fit in a 30 square centimeter circle? Let's find out. That's three units, four units, this is six units, and here's seven units. Okay, so approximately our little circle on, on the wall there in the bathroom has seven units of light. So here's our current situation in the dark in the bathroom. We're 30 centimeters from the wall with our flashlight. That circle is 30 square centimeters in area right here. And we have seven units of light energy. And we're going to call that 100%. We're going to say that that's the 100% the intensity of that flashlight 30 centimeters away. What that means is that Seven units of energy have to fill up 30 square centimeters. So every square centimeter in this circle is going to contain 0 0.23 units of light energy. All right. So inverse square law says we got to double our distance. So let's do that. So we back up to 60 centimeters, and our circle becomes four times larger. So here's our little 30 square centimeter circle. And now it's 120 square centimeters, so now it's four times bigger, right? But wait, our light energy amount, our seven little pennies here, is the same. We haven't increased our amount of light. It's stayed the same, but it's got to fill up this huge area. So now, here is the situation at hand. We went from 30 to 60 centimeters away. Our area doubled by a factor of four, but our light energy has stayed the same, which means the intensity is now at 25% of what it was. So what that means is that every square centimeter now contains 0 0.058 units of light per square centimeter. So 120, uh, uh, sorry, seven divided by 120 is going to give you 0 0.058. So what that means is that the light is much less intense to our eyes when we look at it. Now let's just, for fun, double this distance again. Alright, so we were at 30. That was this, this little circle here. Then we went to, to 60 centimeters away, and that's this circle here. Let's double it again and go to 120 centimeters away. Well, now our area is going to be four times larger than it was at 60 centimeters. So now it's 480 centimeters away, but our light units of 7 is still the same. That means that our intensity is going to be 6.25% of what it was at 30 centimeters. 7 divided by 480 is a pathetic 0 0.0143 units of light per square centimeter. I mean, it, it's so dim, it's, you know, it's, the, the light is just so dim you can really tell a difference, right? So 
that's the inverse square law, and here we'll we'll say it again here just to wrap up. Inverse square law says that when distance doubles uh, from a light source, the area increases by a factor of four, and we've shown that. And what that means is that the the light, the seven units of light energy, is reduced by one quarter down. Uh, is either seventy five percent of of what it was or 25%, it just depends on, on how you look at that. So I hope this video is useful to you, and uh, thank you for watching.